Today we're speedrunning Mario Party Superstars and doing everything on Master Mode. Now the speedrun will start as soon as we start Bowser's Big Blast, because of course this is always going to be the first minigame we do since it's completely random. Basically all you have to do for this minigame is just press down on one of those levers and hope you don't get blown up. Thankfully Rosalina got blown up there. And yeah it's pretty much just this sick game of slowly getting rid of the contestants. They have no idea if their thing will work or not so we'll see for Luigi and he actually got blown up too. This is really good RNG so far. But like I said we're always going to do this first just because we don't want to be halfway through the run and then lose everything to this so hopefully we don't get blown up there and we're fine so now we just have to hope that Yoshi gets done and I actually like this pattern because now Yoshi has a 50 50 chance of dying he's going to go with the yellow one and if he gets blown up here this is going to be very good and perfect that is actually amazing RNG almost the best RNG we could have gotten so that's going to be our first win and obviously we're going to need to get a total of 100 because there are 100 mini games in this game and the next one is for mushroom mix up so everybody is going to be on master mode and that means they're not going to fall off easily we kind of have to be smart about this but we might have gotten yoshi yeah no that's not going to kill him right now when it's really slow it's almost impossible to take someone out unless you get really lucky but everybody's going to go for ground pounding each other no one's going to just fall off randomly you have to be careful about this i almost got yoshi right there though but yeah this is one of the mini games that can go either really fast or really slow i'm just trying my best not to get ground pounded myself because then that will cause me to die i mean i can get ground pounded like right there but as long as I don't get ground pounded during the wrong times we're fine and now things are going to speed up a little bit maybe I can take out Yoshi that's actually the perfect ground pound that's going to take out one of our opponents and now there's just Rosa and Luigi left so Luigi actually just took out Rosalina that was crazy dude you know it's just the brothers working together and now trying to kill each other okay Luigi just let yourself die or try to kill me that almost did it but Oh, I almost got him with that ground pound. I just have to be careful. I need to make sure that I don't die and then I also kill him. Okay, that's pretty obvious. But yeah, we can get him right there. That's actually the perfect ground pound. That's going to take him out and we get another first place. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is we're going to go from random minigame to random minigame. This is so we don't have to go back to the main screen showing all the minigames and it just lets us go a bit faster. But for now, we're going to punch Luigi right there and I just want to make sure that I'm on this thing while no one else is. And I think that was actually the perfect picture. We might share first place with Luigi, but we were actually one place above him. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's going to be our third win. And we're doing really well. Trust me, though, we're not going to do really well forever. There are some really hard mini games in this game, and this might be one of them. For this one, we have to deliver letters to the shy guy, and he's going to run around all over the place and try not to actually pick up your letters like right here. Dude, come on. I've tried to do your job for you. But then once 15 seconds is reached, you'll get a love letter. These are worth three points, so it's always worth it to make sure we get that one. And now we're way above everybody else so I'm feeling pretty safe but there's also going to be one more love letter around five seconds so it's over there Luigi actually gets it but I should be fine because I think we have one more point than him and yeah that's another first place that was way too close for comfort though especially with Luigi getting that love letter we usually don't want that to happen but now on to the next one this is one of the two player mini games because we're doing these all random you're never sure what you're going to get except for the 1v3 mini games because we're actually not going to include those in our random mini games how we do that is just by liking certain ones so we're only doing random mini games within our liked mini games and then once we get 82 wins we'll know that we can go to the rest of them anyways for this one it's pretty much just luck based there's probably a bit of skill you can do but i pretty much just hope that we don't play terribly and we actually played amazing 10 to 1 yeah they had literally no chance at winning that that was kind of pathetic guys next we have this one and it's another really easy one all i have to do is stay close to the center of the stage and as long as we do that we're gonna have way more speed than everyone else i don't even know if these guys are master mode cpus at this point like they are really bad at some mini games and then at other ones they're amazing at we've gotten a really lucky amount of mini games right now but that means later in the run we're gonna get the really hard ones so i'm not looking forward to that but at least that's another win yeah a couple seconds faster than the next person too so that's kind of sad for rosa then with this one it's time for a mashing mini game now i'm no ludwig so i don't have the greatest mashing skills in the world but i'm pretty good at it we just have to spam as much as we can and we should be everybody even though they go really fast oh and Rosa and Luigi actually tied there. That's pretty cool. Meanwhile, Yoshi is just complaining and crying like a baby. Oh, and now we have this mini game. Okay, remember when I said there are some mini games that we could very easily lose? Yeah, this is one of them. So we have to make sure we get these chests and I actually missed the first one, so that's really bad. But to get first place, we need to get at least 40 coins. Now how you can do this, or at least how I like doing it, is getting four chests. So we're not doing the worst so far, but we could be doing a bit better. But I also like being all the way to the right. That way I 
get first dibs on all of these chests. Meanwhile, everybody else just has to complain and stuff. But okay, that's two of my chests down. I just have to get two more. I wait until it's about at right okay no yeah we're restarting that look in this master mode speed run resets are bound to happen even the world record has some so yeah anyway as i was saying we wait until the right area and then we're gonna go for it i only know how to get these far away ones mostly because they have the biggest amount of chests but yeah this is going a lot better we got two casts right away that's going to give us 20 coins and we're getting a ton of chests back there too so i can go for this one and i almost missed that i really don't want that to happen again and as long as we get one more chest we're gonna be fine so there's my other their chest I can go right there and please okay we're good and literally at this point none of the opponents will beat us even if Rosalina somehow gets a chest she won't be able to actually pull it in in time just because the game won't let her see like right now she got that chest but she's very slowly pulling it in and she's only gonna end with 35 so we tie with Luigi and yes even though everybody technically wins on the coin mini games as you can see on this screen only the people with the most amount of coins actually get the star oh and now we're on to this mini game okay so this one is kind of luck based kind of skill based it's luck based in the sense that random people can just hit you but it's skill based that we want to hit the other people and i've gotten really good at this mini game because i've put way too much practice into it so i'm just going to aim and try to make everybody about even we don't want to kill one person right away because they can actually help us by hitting our opponents but this is not the greatest start i actually just got hit twice that is fine we're going to go for rosalina we can go for yoshi next and everybody's down to only one hit so we should be able to finish this out luigi tries to go for me we'll go for rosa and yep we're restarting again okay that's that's fine. This isn't the worst thing I've ever done in my life, but you know, it could be a bit better. That is the thing about these master mode speedruns. Anything can happen on any single one of these mini games. Even the ones that are kind of easier like this one. Oh, wait, that just ended. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that to be that fast. But like I was saying, even the ones that are kind of easier, anything can happen for them, so you can't be too safe. But now for this one, I noticed that Luigi just got a ton of Goombas. We're not going to beat that number, so we'll just reset. And we're really going for a Golden Goomba, because those are worth three. Yoshi gets one right there, and it looks like this one is not going to be good enough, so we'll start over one more time. Better to start over early and save the time than waste some, so okay, that's going to be another start over. This time for sure, please Golden Goombas just come right now and that might be the perfect one. I think we'll be fine. But Luigi also gets a lot of Goombas, so that's a bit scary. I think we should tie with Luigi, though, so that should count as a win. You'll see now that we get to watch all these Goombas just go through, and the golden ones also dance, make fun of the other ones for not being golden. But yeah, we need to have the same number as Luigi, which I'm a little scared about. We have that one, and yeah, we both end with seven. Perfect. Oh, and Yoshi actually won too. Yeah, it was a three-way tie. Only Rosalina didn't get the win. Now we have the bumper cars. This one is kind of our G base because sometimes the people can just go straight towards you like Luigi going for me but it looks like we have this line and this should be good Yoshi please stop okay yep that was unlucky you know what happens and Luigi you jerk we're supposed to be going around in a circle like this all right we're not supposed to get rid of the game plan but that's going to be two people down now we just need to get luigi we can turn him around by hitting the side of his car and pop him quickly oh and now we have a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one i like making sure by counting twice but we just have to count the number of toads and it's pretty easy and since we can see that both luigi and yoshi also got 21 i'm pretty confident in this guess and yeah sorry rosalina again rosalina really is not winning these mini games right now oh and now we have the horse one okay so this one is pretty easy but it's also very easy to mess up because if we don't play perfectly we're gonna lose mostly because of these carrot things we don't want to get the blue carrots if we do get a blue carrot then we automatically lose and mostly because i'm a better masher than the cpus we should be fine i just have to control myself and make sure that we get the red carrot right here we don't want to go too fast but not too slow and yeah i messed that up i don't know why i always feel like i'm in a rush for this mini game because for this final part they're not going to be able to mash as fast as i can so yeah we really had nothing to worry about i don't know why i rushed it but you know second try isn't the worst thing in the world now we're moving on to this one and it's another luck based mini game and basically you just have to go through doors and hope that your door goes to the next level i've actually had really good rng so far okay that's not going to be the door we'll try going through this one 
one and oh my gosh okay once the cpu see you go through the right door they're gonna follow through but we actually just got the best luck i ever have on this mini game i am really surprised that i did that that well well i guess it's not really me doing it that well <laughs> it's more just me getting lucky but you know what i'll take it that one can cause a lot of resets and a lot of time loss so i'm really happy with that oh and speaking of a lot of time loss we have the chain chomp mini game what you want to do for this one is flash your flashlight when he's really close to you and that one was bad the annoying thing about this mini game is you don't know when he's going to start moving again and it takes a while for your character to turn around so like you have to just guess if it's going to be the right time like right there i thought he was going to keep moving he didn't the nice thing about this one though is it's pretty fast resets even if you do mess up like it doesn't take a ton of time for the chain chomp to come over but this guy just loves hopping please give me something good i just need you to come up consistently and we're gonna go now and you're kidding me i was like 0.1 seconds away from getting that please just let me out of this mini game and that's as perfect as it can get 0.1 yards yeah did much better than everybody else so yeah take that guys but that's good because that's a stressful mini game but so is this one now basically for this we have to match five blocks in a row and we can also send other blocks to the opponent by matching five blocks with those things that have arrows so yeah we're just looking out for the arrows and just trying to play well but to be honest it's not really the hardest mini game in the world it's more if you get bad rng you can lose it really easily a big strategy that i do that you've been seeing is just kind of spam click on all the bottom ones and a lot of the times it will just get one of the blocks to go to the right area and then sometimes i also be a little more strategic try to match them up in the right places but yeah there's not too much to say for this mini game we'll probably just skip ahead to when it gets a little harder oh by the way one thing i should mention is if it gets above the red line then our timer is going to start counting down and then we only have five seconds to fix it so yeah there is a grace window to make sure you don't mess up too bad but i don't really want to get there i just want yoshi to fail but as you can see these master mode cpus are absolutely crazy at this game but it really is just a game of holding out because they're going to start out crazy at the game but once it gets faster their ai gets a little worse so yeah i just have to make sure i can survive and we'll see what happens there's also not really too much time to look at what the other person is doing so i'm just focusing on my stuff and hoping that yoshi will die eventually but oh is that his timer okay he's actually doing really bad this might be really fast he has one second left oh my gosh i thought we wanted there but i guess yoshi has a tiny bit more fight in him and now it's getting pretty stressful for me because i'm getting some very high towers i really wish he would have died there but this is fine you know we'll be okay just yoshi please mess up again and the thing that really sucks about these puzzle mini games is once in a while even if you are on master mode difficulty the cpus do have the chance of messing up a ton and it being really fast so we're kind of hoping for that but yoshi really doesn't seem like messing up again and things are getting much harder for me now i just need yoshi to stop being good and thank you okay he only had that one second left and it finally took him out after like three minutes of playing yeah those puzzle mini games are going to be long regardless oh and now we're on to an actually fun mini game again or i guess this one is kind of fun and basically for this one we have to guide the shell over to us and get rid of all the panels that are covering the picture so we can just do a little loop-de-loop -loop, and it looks like we just barely beat luigi and now we have to wait for the other two hey guys you gonna you gonna get that last one? Okay, took you long enough. Would have surprised me if you told me you were master mode just for those performances. Luigi did well though. Oh, and now we have this fun one. So basically we have Toad and Toad is really lazy. He doesn't want to get out of his car and he makes us take out the boulders in front of him. And then he drives forward a little bit and we have to take out some more boulders it's pretty simple and you can do either jumping kicks or you can just punch i choose to punch for this mini game because it's a bit more consistent i think if you do all of your kicks perfectly then it does save time but i just prefer the punches and you always beat the master mode cpus if you do it this way especially since if you do kicks and stuff you often hit your partner and sometimes miss your kicks it's just not really worth it like you can see right here i think i'm gonna take out my boulder okay it looks like we took them out at the same time but meanwhile these other two are just failing all their kicks this is hilarious and finally we just have this one big boulder which i'm gonna go for the punches luigi is gonna go for the kicks and together that's going to be perfect getting rid of it and finally we can pick up toadette so toad can have his date and i guess we're just third wheeling you know it happens oh and now we have this one okay this is one i'm gonna have to actually focus for so bomb coin punch coin 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 punch punch coin coin punch coin punch nothing punch bomb punch coin bomb coin 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 nothing coin okay 
Last one should just be this coin. And there we go. Perfect. And you'll see everybody else also did amazing. Luigi actually tied with me. So yeah, this is one of the ones that you cannot make a single mistake on. Oh, and speaking of ones you shouldn't make mistakes on, we have the jungle vine one. Okay, so basically for this one, usually the master mode CPUs are going to be slightly slower. And you could see it actually worked out there and let me be slightly faster than Rosalina. Yeah, that was a little embarrassing that I missed that jump. But basically, if we hit that, we would have just been slightly ahead of her and we would have easily gotten the win. But now it's a little more competitive. And these are also some of the worst vines I've ever seen in my life. Like this is a really bad pattern. I just hope I don't mess up again. Like, look at these patterns. They are giving you such bad ones. And I'm going to go for that jump and mess it up. Yeah, we're just going to reset that one. Hopefully we actually get some better patterns. and can just go from vine to vine. It seems like it's a little bit better so far. We want to wait as little as possible. But unfortunately, sometimes this mini game doesn't let you. And you can see now that I've actually been doing this well, we're way ahead of Rosalina. She has no chance of catching up as long as I don't mess up. And finally, we just have this last little bit. I'll actually have to wait out this vine just a bit, but we should be able to get that, get onto the log, and that's going to be our win. Which that was actually our 20th, so we're now one fifth of the way through all the mini games. But of course, it gives us this one, which is pretty annoying. Now, this mini game isn't hard, but it's hard with the master mode CPUs because sometimes they just have no idea what they're doing. Basically, we're trying to do a circle around the toad things, and how did that one not work? But it looks like Louis. Luigi and Yoshi are also doing terribly, but Rosalina, I was going to go that way. Okay, we're going to reset once more. To be honest, I can't put all the blame on Rosalina, but I am going to put a lot of it, okay? And we're going to reset one final time, hopefully. Let's actually do this well, because there's also some RNG on where these toad stamps actually show up on the book. And there we go. Okay, finally, we're actually ahead of the other two, so we should be fine with this one. We can get our third right there. Then there's going to be this fourth. I do not know what path Rosalina is trying to take, but it's fine. We should be able to finish out with this one, get all five stamps and that's going to be our win they almost actually just beat us there though that would have been really bad so moving on to the pizza mini game and this one is pretty much just mashing you have to mash the a button to actually eat the pizza and once you get to pepperoni you're gonna have to mash a little harder because it takes a bit longer to eat that but yeah for the most part for this pizza we just want to follow this uniform pattern just go little by little meanwhile the other two are doing something i guess and luigi also doesn't have the best pattern but we should be able to finish it out right there get the perfect before they're able to eat theirs then we're on to this one which is another mashing mini game because this game does not feel like giving my fingers any break but for this we have to mash and we also have to tilt to the right direction thankfully for the cpus in this game they're just going to follow your direction so they're not going to make any mistakes we just have to make sure that we play right ourselves and since we can mash just slightly faster than the other two we'll make it to the final mashing section a little bit before them and finish out right there meanwhile they're right at the end but they'll never make it kind of a sad existence stay in there forever oh and now we have the bumper balls one so we have to knock these guys off into the water and there goes Luigi I do not know how he got taken out that easily and these other two are in the exact same spot that's really good and that was probably the fastest I've ever done that minigame I even surprised myself right there that was crazy so then we have this umbrella one and I do not like the umbrella minigame basically you have to hope both for good RNG and getting a bunch of money bags on your side and you also have to hope that the people right by you aren't going to knock into you too much but it seems like we're not getting the best amount right now we need some of these money bags I just just missed that one. Rosalina takes that other one. So not great. I just try to stay up near the top, but Yoshi is being so annoying for this mini game. And will we have enough? Oh no, Rosalina has a ton of coins. We're going to reset right there. At least this one is only 30 seconds. So it's not the worst reset in the world, but yeah, I don't love to see that. Okay. We're just going to stay up close to the top. Try not to get hit by these hammers. And I just got hit by one and that allowed Luigi to have the bag. Yeah, we'll reset once more. Okay, please just let myself actually play well and let's actually get some money bags because we do not want to lose by a ton of coins like to Rosalina before. But we're getting some more money bags. Just come on. Come on, guys. Give our side a little bit more. Sometimes they just go to one side and you can just lose to RNG. And it seems like the yeah, app might be one of those times, but we get a money bag right there. Can we get this other one? And come on, please. No, we are one coin short from beating Rosalina. That is so sad. And yeah, we're gonna have to start this mini game over. Okay, Rosalina is on my side this time. I am not letting her beat me a third time. That was so sad. But we're actually getting some good money bags so far. Rosalina got one herself, but that should be fine. I'm not even gonna really worry about the coins. If there's a money bag, I'm going straight for that. 
and oh, that's gonna be two right there, and then Rosalina gets one. That's fine because there are two more, and we should be fine here. We have tons of coins, and now the Ember Bros are giving me so many coins. Okay, I think that's more than I've ever gotten before. Like, we somehow got 45 coins right there, and I'm gonna take it. Then on to some Shell Soccer, and for this one, it's annoying. So basically, your partner sometimes takes way too long to shoot, and your partner also doesn't like passing when you're playing with these CPUs. So I have to be careful to make sure he doesn't mess me up, and and I also don't mess me up. Please, Yoshi, help. Okay, I have the puck right here, or I guess it's a ball. Just a shell. I don't even know what I'm calling it. But we are way ahead of these guys now. We just have to make sure we don't mess up. It is kind of annoying spots to have these Goombas in, though, because they're all separated. And I just completely messed up and let Luigi have that. Okay, that's fine. They only have one of the Goombas, or two now. Yeah, I couldn't slide tackle him because there are too many people in the way. That was annoying. But pass the Yoshi. Yoshi hit it. Okay, that's another one done. And we just have two more we have to hit but Yoshi has to actually give me some help. Shoot that. Shoot Yoshi. Yoshi, what are you doing? Uh, these CPUs sometimes. No, Rosa. Okay, we're fine. Yoshi, you need to pass the puck or ball. Why do I keep calling it a puck? This is just a slide tackle fest and none of this is legal. I promise you, this is all legal slide tackles, but <laughs> it just keeps happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Okay, we just have to not mess up here. Yoshi, I need your help. Please stop just running away. Please be in good places for me to pass. I should have shot that. What am I doing? But please kick the ball, Mario. Yoshi! <laughs> Now it's five to five. This is the most ridiculous mini game, and that was just all my fault. I'm actually throwing now. Please, not again. Yoshi, pass it to me, or me pass it to Yoshi. That's fine. I can hit Luigi. How did that not hit? You're kidding me. I uh, I don't even know what to say about that. Yeah, that's uh that's the soccer mini game. You know what? I don't need to get close. I don't even know why I'm trying to get close to the Goombas. If I get the ball, then I'm going to shoot from far away. But oh, that's the perfect shot. I wish it hit one more. We only got one right there, but yeah. They both slid tackled and we were able to hit the shot. Yoshi, you need to pass. I can hit that guy right there. We only have 3 left. You know, we just needed one game to get rid of the pre-game jitters. And now it's 5-0. And it looks like they might hit one but they're not going to. Yoshi, I'm sorry for not passing to you. That's my fault. And yeah, those points are on me. But okay, this should be the perfect shot. Yoshi, why did you do that? It's like he specifically only went for one Goomba. But that's fine. Yoshi can finish it out or I can finish it out. One of us can finish it out. Yoshi, that was your shot. You could have made that. Hit it. Hit it, Yoshi. Let's go. Finally. That one took way too much time. It should not have done that. But that's fine. I mean, we won eventually. Eventually. Oh, and now we're on to one of my least favorite minigames. So right at the start, what we have to do is mash. And we have to get up to top speed. But the problem with that is these controls are really annoying. And you have to be perfect if you're at top speed. So yeah, this one might take me a couple of tries. Just because I am not the greatest at this minigame. And also, my controller is not the best. You can see right there. Sometimes when I flick the control stick, it'll go right back. I don't know why that happens if it's just my pro controller or if it's all of them. But yeah, it's really annoying for this mini game. Hopefully we just get a good pattern with these guys though. That's pretty much what it comes down to because a lot of the times when we get patterns like that, I just can't react. In some of these mini games, the master mode CPUs have an unfair advantage. Like I do not understand how they're able to make these split second decisions, but actually I do understand it's that they're computers. But you know what? We actually have a really good pattern right here. We're about to make it to the end please just let me do this and there we go didn't actually take too much time sometimes this mini game takes me like five minutes so i'm gonna take it and my mashing fingers actually get a little bit of a break and for a break we have this one okay so i have only ever lost this mini game once in my life and i've probably played it like 20 times so i'm not too worried about it basically all we have to do is stay up in the air and not get hit by the cannonballs if we're on the ground when a cannonball hits our platform though it will stun us and possibly allow another cannonball to hit us which i actually just got stunned and hit. Well, guess we lost this mini game a second time. Every single time, every single time without fail, when I act confident in something, I'm going to lose it. So yeah, maybe I should just play well. And there goes Luigi. See you later, dude. But yeah, I just need to stop saying that I'm good at mini games and instead just be fine. Oh, and now we have this one. So usually for this one, I actually like being the driver just because you have a bit more control. But when you are the person that flaps the wings, this is actually the best strategy to do it. Basically, I'm just moving my control 
control stick up and down as fast as possible because that's going to give you a bit more speed than it would normally by just flapping the wings. I don't know why this works so well. I don't think a bird could flap its wings like this and be fine, but maybe it could. Maybe they should try it. But the nice thing is because the CPUs in these two player mini games are always going to be perfect, so it's never their fault that you lose. Luigi is going to have perfect driving and he's not going to get hit by anything. So we can just make it through this last little bit and we might actually get a record right there. And yeah, I beat my previous record with that. So feels good. I'm pretty tired of moving my control stick up and down though. Anyways, speaking of moving things up and down, we now have to pump a bunch of air into this Bowser balloon. And for this one, you pretty much only have to pay attention to making sure that your dial goes up and down at the right moments. But to be honest, I was kind of paying attention to the other Bowser balloon and that caused me to lose right there. So yeah, maybe I should listen to what I actually say. But yeah, if I'm just paying attention, making sure that all of these pushes go from all the way to the left to all the way to the right, then we should be fine. But this one is always going to be extremely close because obviously it is master mode, but we should be fine. He's about to pop and we just barely are able to get it. But yeah, this one is always going to be stressful, which leads us to this mini game where we have to collect a bunch of coins. And we also have a partner for this one. Our partner this time is going to be Yoshi. And I'm just trying to stay fairly separate from Yoshi. So Yoshi can get one of the coins and I can get the other one since there are always going to be two that pop out. And yeah, as long as we do this, we should be fine. We're actually losing right now though. So we got to get kind of lucky. We got, okay. Yep. That's the luck we needed. Yeah. <laughs> right. As I say it, we get kind of the luckiest RNG I've ever seen. And we should win this no matter what 15 to 13 though. It was a bit close. Oh, and it's another one where we all act like we win, but in all reality, we were the only ones who won. And then we also die. So maybe none of us won. Oh, and yep. Now we're on the air hockey one. Okay. So for this one, it's pretty much just all luck in the sense of we have to get lucky enough to hope that these other two are not able to hit this ball as much as possible and not have that happen because I'm not the greatest of this mini game because once it gets really fast, it's hard to be good at this mini game. Meanwhile, the CPUs are almost perfect, but every once in a while, you can just get the perfect bounces to allow it to go in their goal. So we got it right there. And now we just want to keep it between us. The more it hits different areas, the faster the shell is going to go. And this is going so fast right now. Also, this is maybe why I was calling the shell a puck earlier because I was thinking of this mini game, but that is not good. But even if we tie this mini game with the opposing team, it still gets counted for the win. So we just need one more goal. And please guys do not score on us. I am trying to play out of my mind right now. But Luigi is also playing out of his mind. But there we go. Okay, it's 2-2, only seven seconds left. And I don't think that the puck is going to get fast enough within this amount of time. So we should be good. And yeah, it's going to be a tie. And then as you can see, it says we all won and it gives us all star on this main menu thing. So we're good. And now it's time for shy guy says, okay. So for this one, we just have to choose the same flag that shy guy chooses. And since we are on master mode, this is going to go very long. So I have to very much focus this entire time. I mean, I don't really have to focus too much right now because it's not too fast, but once it gets later in this mini game, it gets difficult. And shy guy tries to trick us out a lot of these times, starting to raise a flag one way and then going the other way. So I like taking like half a second just to make sure it's the right flag and usually you won't get out please somebody get out though i would prefer if this mini game didn't go on forever and there goes rosalina perfect we like to see it it's also funny because you get to watch her fly away for so long like she just slowly goes backwards and yeah it's a nice sight to see but just two more and that should have taken out yoshi but shy guy was feeling merciful right there so yoshi didn't get taken out but he should soon because it doesn't seem like he's the best at this game let's go to the left now we have to go go to the right and I actually need to focus and there goes Yoshi. Thank you. Okay. Just the two brothers left. We both look very angry. We both very much want this win, but only one of us can have it. And I hope Luigi doesn't have any hard feelings when I do take it from him. This is really where it gets to the stressful part because if you take even like half a second to make your choice, then you might lose. So yeah, we have to be fast and we just have to make sure that we're always faster than Luigi. That's going to be left. Luigi, please be a good brother. Just let me take this win. And Shy Guy, stop standing there for so long. There he goes, finally. Okay. That one was way too stressful. I love how Shy Guy also waves goodbye to Luigi as he's going to die. Shy Guy just does not care at all. And now we have to face off against Jack Black. He's gonna be singing his beautiful Peaches song, but unfortunately for him, there is no Peach here. So that's why he's gonna get angry. He decides since he doesn't see Peach here, he's just gonna kill us all. And yeah, we just have to dodge him, but it's not really that hard. Even when it is dark around him, you can still make out his body. So as long as we're just not getting hit by any of his attacks, we should be fine. And we take home another win tied with Rose. 
Rosalina. But now we're actually facing off against Rosalina in a 1v1, but this 1v1 is not difficult at all. The only thing we have to watch out for is we can't get hit by a single one of these rocks. I want to take my time because you can't go any faster since it has a set scroll speed. So if I want to wait a second for a rock to move out of the way, then we should do that. I think I can make it through there. There's going to be this one as well. We can wait out this rock for a second and we should make that gap. And now there's only these two rocks which slowly separate and we make it to the end. But what we want to do is hug the right wall because you'll see that we get in there slightly before Rosalina, even though she played perfectly. So that's kind of funny that she gets the loss after playing perfectly. To be fair, maybe she should have thought about that, but you know, she might get a revenge here because in this one, even if I play perfectly, I might still lose. Now, a lot of this mini game is just mashing. And since I am a slightly faster masher than all the master mode CPUs, we can get a small advantage on them going into the final part. But all the CPUs are going to have the exact same mash speed. So they're all going to be pretty slow. Anyways, we have to mash through those ones and then we have to mash to move this platform by pressing Y. So I'm just going to keep spamming that. Then Luigi can jump to the other side and I can get on this platform. So we're kind of just helping each other out. Now I'm going to move this platform for Luigi. He's going to jump on right there, go to the other side, and then we can actually mash together to make this go even faster. And yeah, that's going to save us a bit of more time. And then finally, we have this part where we might lose for no fault of our own because this is completely luck based. You have to choose the right pipes. So Luigi, do not go inside the same pipes that I am. Luigi, what are you doing? Okay, this is not the best. Can we please find the right pipe? Come in mine and they are slightly in front of us. See, even though we played better than them, I think we might be able to do this faster. Okay. I don't know about that. Yeah, we're gonna have to reset. Oh my gosh, I hate this mini game. All right, yet again, we got there much faster than the other two. Just hopefully we can get good RNG this time. I picked the right pipe right away and then Luigi picked the right pipe. Okay, thank you. Could we actually get a record on this one? I'm not sure. We're just gonna have to pump up this balloon now. And yeah, at this point, we pretty much won. There's nothing to even worry about. Like they're trying to go in their pipes. They have no time and we should be good now. And yes, that is gonna be a record. So yeah, you can see how important the RNG is. Even if you're playing perfectly, the RNG could just ruin this level for you. But that's fine. We've made it to the sky while well, they're stuck there forever. And now it's time for hockey. Okay, hockey can go either really well or really badly, depending on how my CPU does because I'm not the greatest at shooting. So a lot of the times I just require the CPU to do most of the hard work and I'll just help him with checking and stuff. But the CPU, Rosalina is not doing the best job right now and Luigi hits them with the quick shot. I do not think our goalie should be employed. That was terrible. Rosalina, please at least win this and then move out of the way, Yoshi. I'm gonna go for the pass. Ro take the quick shot, Rosalina. What are you doing? Okay, I'll go for a shot. I slightly miss and then somehow hit our goal. I didn't even know that could happen. Okay, but clearly I don't think I can count on Rosalina for this. I'm just gonna have to hit these shots myself. So that was a little too down. That's fine. Make sure that Luigi doesn't score here, Rosa. Okay, good job. What goalie? What are you doing? You're passing to the opposing team. You're playing for the other guys. Okay, come on, Rosa. Just shoot something. Shoot something. I hate this mini game. You know what they always say, third time is the try. And for this one, I'm gonna play a little tricky. I'm gonna move around the net so we don't have to deal with Luigi. Then we can pass to Rosa. She's gonna calmly sit there for like 10 minutes and then finally decide it's time. I'm just gonna go for the shots myself. Please, Rosa, do something. Okay, Rosa, what is that? You're passing to the goalie. You're not even going for a shot. Are you not a master mode CPU? I'm just gonna have to score it. And there's a point. Okay, finally. And because of that point, I can also show off the greatest strategy in this game. <laughs> By the way, you can't tie this. A tie does not count as a win, so we have to actually get the win. And that's one more start over. I just can't depend on Rosalina at all. Rosalina, pass it back. Pass it back. Okay, give me the puck. I don't know what I went for there, but shoot it. Please, just let me score something. Rosalina, be smart with this, and thank you. Finally, you did something. Okay, as I was saying, here's the strategy that I wanted to do. What we can do is just keep going around our own goal. Now, Luigi doesn't know what to do since it's a 2v2, so he can't leave Rosalina. Otherwise, I could pass to her. So they kind of just have to wait back, <laughs> try to catch up to me. Meanwhile, I'm just hanging out in the goal. And yeah, the CPU just has no idea what to do once you have this one goal lead on him. So he tries. 
but yeah, this is pretty sad. You know what? Also, right at the end, hopefully I don't get the puck stolen from me, but I'm gonna go for one more shot just to add insult to injury since they made me very mad. This mini game should never take this much time. But now we have the batting one. So we're going from sport mini game to sport mini game. And batting is not that bad, except you're seeing me miss a couple of balls right now. But basically, there are only four different kinds of pitches that these robots can do. So you just have to keep track of them. I think I should be good now. We missed a few. We wanna get at least 25 home runs, but that's not too hard. I'm just going to focus up. That's going to be the slow one. And then normally they do a medium speed one. Sometimes they do the fastball. Sometimes they do the slow ball. And you just have to pay attention to what kind of pitch the pitcher is doing. And sometimes they can also do that really slow ball. But that one isn't too bad. I just kind of miss it and don't really worry about it. And we were still able to get the win with 25 points. Then we have this one, which is like the bobsled racing, I think this is. But pretty much all of our winning energy is going to get at the beginning where we have to mash faster than the other guys. Then as long as we don't play this absolutely terribly, we should be able to get the win easy because they will always be slightly behind us no matter what they do. Besides for the boost pads, we have to make sure we always hit the boost pads. Otherwise we're going to lose. And I almost messed that one up right there. That could have been embarrassing. But yeah, since this is a 2v2 mini game, our CPU is going to be perfect. Just be in sync with us, which is very nice. But we got the second boost pad. We only need to get one more and we should be fine. Meanwhile, they just have no chance of beating us because we were faster mash. So yeah, we're just going to get this last boost pad. It is a very easy one to get to and we can make it over to the end. I don't think we're going to get a record right here, but I'm still going to take the win. And the funniest part is they then crash into the wall and yeah, now they probably have concussions. And, but now it's time for the Monty Mole mini game. Okay, so this one can be either really good or really bad, kind of like a lot of these mini games. Basically, what we want to do is not get hit by the Monty Mole hammers. And to do this, you might think you want to go to all the way on the other side of the map to get as far away from the Monty Mole as possible. But what you actually want to do is just go to a space that's right by the one you're at. This is because the Monty Moles will always go for a different person. I don't really know how their AI works, but it looks like we should be able to get this win, even though I did get hit at the end. And that is really fast. I usually need at least two tries to do this one. Then we have another counting one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. I like messed up my numbers for a second, but that's fine. We have 33 and that actually matches everybody else. So that's probably the right number. <laughs> yeah, the counting one is kind of stressful, but it's really not that bad as you can see by everybody getting first place right there. And then we have this one, which basically what's gonna happen is we get a bunch of shells that are gonna get onto the ice rink and we have to make sure they don't hit us. It's easy when there's just one shell, but soon they're gonna add number two and then number three. So that's going to make it a bit more harder. They're gonna start colliding into each other which makes it a bit more crazy but I like staying in one corner and just jumping over the guys when they get close to me sometimes it'll work it gets a little bit scary but please Yoshi just get taken out and I should not have done that jump and now we also have to watch his winning animation <laughs> so that's sad yeah we're just gonna play this one again and not play badly hopefully I was too focused on the other people hoping they get out when I should have been focused on myself so that's on me but okay it's getting down to the final parts there are now three shells only one Yoshi left I'm just not even gonna focus focus on him. I'm going to focus on staying alive, but these shells are going in very annoying spots, but that is going to be the win. Okay. You know what, Yoshi? I will share the win with you. I don't mind it. Well, I don't mind it too much. Anyways, now we're on to another Bowser mini game. And for this one, he's going to throw a gigantic ball in the center. It's going to be a spiked ball. And yeah, obviously we can't get hit by it. But once he realizes that his first one didn't hit anybody, he's going to throw two more and they're going to start knocking into each other and also being a really fast speed, which I almost got hit by. And Thank you, Luigi, for dying. I'm pretty sure I would have lost there if it wasn't for Luigi, so... <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. Oh, and I love this one. For this one, we want to make a snowball and then we want to hit other people with our snowball. So let's aim for Luigi right now. Good shot, Yoshi. I appreciate that. Then I'm going to aim for you, Yoshi. I'm just going to get you and Rosalina. We were aiming for Yoshi. You know, I thought Rosalina was a team player, but I guess not. So I guess we're going to have to kill her <laughs> because I guess that's what you do when people are team players. Now, I'm a little worried about Luigi being right behind me, but I am in the center of the stage, so we should be fairly safe. Luigi tries to hit me off. So I'm going to go for him. And we just have Yoshi and Luigi. Yoshi, do not go for me. Thank you. I do not know what your thought process was right there, but I'm not going to complain. And now I can just bully the guy. <laughs> 
he's barely getting up and then getting hit right away as soon as he gets up. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, and now it's time for this mini game. Okay, so this is one of the slowest mini games in the entire game. What we need to do for this is slowly stack balls. And if you connect five together, then they're going to disappear and they'll also get rid of one of the numbered ones. So I'll show you what I mean right there. We can stack all five of those and it's going to get rid of that number one. So I just want to make sure that the same colors are connecting to the same colors. And we want to make sure that our board is as clear as possible. You can also see, I don't even know what Rosalina is doing. She could very easily lose this, but to be fair, she's also a master mode CPU. So she probably won't, but you can also see that there are also blocks that have two. And that means we have to hit them with two connections or like right there, we have to connect six balls instead of just five. So yeah, it's pretty much just about planning these things and making sure that they're in the right areas. And we want to get rid of these balls as much as possible because they can very easily stack up and make our lives pretty stressful. Meanwhile, Rosalina is still doing the craziest things I've ever seen in my life, but that's fine. We'll just focus up on ourselves. Now, this mini game is actually the reason why this speed run took me so much time. This is one of the hardest mini games, or at least it was before I understood how to beat it because the master mode CPUs without fail are always going to last so long. Like you have no chance of beating them unless you play the smart, but we'll get into that strategy once we get a little bit later into the game. And to be honest, there's not too much to say for this mini game. So I'll probably skip ahead. So now you can see that the balls are moving very fast downwards. And we're also about to get a ton of these numbered balls. So at this point, what I want to do is just play really slowly instead of playing fast and trying to go from one ball to the other, trying to pass the balls back to Rosalina. We're just going to play this slow because it does give you like a full second before it sends the next ball once they hit the ground. So we can use this to our advantage. And even though it is really scary, like you'll see right here, there are so many numbered balls that we're going to have to go through before we get our next one with color. But as long as we're just going slow, we should be fine. And there's not too much to worry about. How you lose this mini game is if a total of 10 of these balls get outside your inner ring, then there's going to start being a warning sign. And yeah, if you lose right there, then you're going to lose to your opponent. So what we want to do is just stall for as long as possible, have a ton of time to make our decisions like, okay, I'm going to want to put this blue ball right there. Then I can slightly move this over, put this four right there. It's just about being smart and taking your time. But yeah, things look bad. We get a connection and things look a little bit better. That's pretty much the pattern you're going to see for this mini game. And here's where we get a ton of yellow. So I'm actually going to connect a few of these because I might as well. That's going to be a nice connection. And we now have a new part of the board clear so you can see how well the strategy works. It's a scary strategy because it looks like you're about to lose. But as long as you have the right amount of patience, you should be able to take home the win. And here's where it's really starting to get fun. You'll see how fast these balls are moving down at this point. And the CPU is going to get overwhelmed really soon. I won't lie though. I am a bit worried right now because this is getting a little bit too close for comfort. We've been in this mini game for about 10 minutes at this point. I mean, you haven't because we've been skipping ahead, but I have been playing this mini game for almost 10 minutes at this point. So please, Rosalina, just die. Okay. It looks like she's starting to get confused. You'll see that she's always moving around in a circle and it looks like she has no idea what she's doing. I just need to pay attention to me. And she's starting to stack up the balls that are outside the perimeter. These balls are also going so fast down right now. Thankfully, I have all this time to rest because I'm not going from one ball to the next as fast as possible. We can get another one of these connections. She only needs two more balls, only one more. And finally, we should get the win. Please just die right here. Thank you so much, Rosa. Yeah, that was a pretty stressful one, but we did it. Now we're on to finally a shorter mini game where we're going to have to carve out this boo. All we have to do is follow the line and make sure we carve in the right places. And you don't even have to be that specific about it. I always do try to get 100% on this one, but it's really hard. It seems like we've been doing okay so far. I guess we'll see, but I know we're doing way better than everyone else. Even if they are on master mode, they're really not good at this mini game. So now we can see all of the scores and it looks like we got a 97, which is good enough to give us the win. And then a boo is going to pop out of the ground. So I guess we saved its life. Now we have another two player mini game. We're going with Rosalina. And for this one, it's basically just jump rope, but instead of a rope, it's a spiked bar that's trying to knock you into lava. So that's pretty safe. But what I like to do is be in the front so we can jump earlier. And then if we need to reposition ourselves, I can start moving backwards. I don't know if that exactly works, but it usually does for me. And now it is getting very 
very hard, so we want to do jumps as soon as possible. There goes Rosalina, but thankfully, the other two got out before me. That was way too close. And Rosalina gets to take all the credit for my win. Then we have this one where we have to shoot these other people with our tanks. I'm going to aim for Yoshi first and try not to get hit myself. I'm also missing Yoshi a lot. The thing about master mode is they do move around a lot, and we also got hit right there. So not the greatest thing, but I can aim for one of these. It looks like Luigi is no longer here, and they just took each other out. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, it's not like I'm going to complain about <laughs> winning free. Oh, and now we have this one where everybody here is drunk. And what we have to do is fight for these music notes. Now, the CPUs on master mode, they're not even that good. But the thing they will do is try to punch us and ground pound us. They're kind of jerks. But in general, as long as I'm getting an okay amount of these music notes, we should be fine. We're already way ahead of everybody else. And even if I stopped moving at this point and just punched people, which I kind of want to, but even if I did do that, then we would still be fine. I decided to spare them for now though. And instead of hurting them, I decided to hurt them emotionally by beating them way too bad. Sometimes you just gotta ruin their dreams. And speaking of ruining dreams, we're gonna do that on this one by out mashing everybody. Now for this mini game, we have to mash as hard as we can. And that makes us swim faster and also dodge these spiky balls. Now right away, the CPUs do start out by being good mashers, but as we go on more, they get worse and worse at mashing. So here's where we're able to catch up. And you can see we are now past Luigi. All we have to do is get on top of here and Yoshi also gets eaten so goodbye forever. I love how happy Mario is that he just killed a fellow competitor. They really don't care at all even when it's these life and death situations. But now we have this snowboarding one where we want to keep rotating our finger over and over again to spin as many times as possible and that's a pretty good score. Then thankfully for the rest of these people we can just skip theirs so we don't have to watch their pathetic attempts. And yep pretty easy win. It's been nice getting the easier ones for a little bit. And speaking of easy ones this one also isn't too <laughs> Okay, let me explain what happened there. I thought we were still playing the one where everybody was drunk. So I kind of did the opposite controls that I was supposed to. And that's why I fell off. But anyways, this is really easy. We just have to knock them into the ones that are going to fall. And Rosalina kind of just accepted her death there. She just let herself die. She wasn't even worrying about it. Then for this one, oh, this one can either be really good or really bad. Because the CPUs are good at this mini game. We just have to hope we get good RNG. Now you can see there are shadows of the falling ice cream. So we want to go to that shadow before anyone else can get to it and start collecting this ice cream. You can see that Rosalina got that one. Luigi got that one, but that is fine. It does look like Yoshi has a little bit more ice cream than I do, but I think this is going to make us catch up. And that was actually really good. Okay. We are now up to six and we even get seven. So we are going to beat everybody by a ton. I don't know if I've ever actually gotten seven on master mode difficulty, but yeah, I get to eat some nice ice cream now. I'm not going to lie though. Those flavors did not look the best, but what looks even worse is this mini game. Okay. This is is one of my least favorite mini games, especially when you're on master mode, because these CPUs are way too smart. And if we don't get lucky, we're just going to fail. But what we want to do is not get the beehives. And so I can do a two here. That's going to give me two fruit. And then Rosalina has to go next, which is automatically going to get her a beehive. So then she gets out of the competition and there are only three left, but making it to the final two isn't really the problem. It's the final two, which is where it gets bad. And I just said making it isn't a problem, but now they could very easily kill me. Yeah, sometimes things like this happen where thankfully Yoshi didn't go for a two. So that's really nice. But now we can count there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think that means Yoshi wins or not Yoshi, but Luigi wins. Yeah, we're just going to reset. Okay. Now we really have to hope for this one that Rosalina. Okay, let's go. We're actually good on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. which means we're in the perfect scenario. So basically what we want to do is put our opponent on a multiple of three. So right now there are nine fruit and she will use a two, which means then I can choose a one to put her back on a multiple of three. By the way, this is a couple restarts of this mini game later. You can probably notice by the timer, but this is one of them that unless we get really lucky is going to take a bit. But at this point, there's nothing Rosalina can do. Whatever she does, I'm just going to do the opposite. And that is going to ensure that she gets the beehive instead of me. I can do a two right there. And finally, no matter what Rosalina does, she's going to have to take the beehive and that's going to be our win. Took a bit longer than we would have liked, but you know, we'll take it. And next we have volleyball. So it's time for another pretty long one, but this is also one of my favorite mini games, even if it always takes way too long. Basically what we want to do is spike it on their court and hit it in a place that they can't hit it back, which that almost worked. But Yoshi and Rosalina are actually amazing at this game. Come on, Luigi. We 
need you to do something, I can get that one. And Luigi is actually a gamer. So that's 1-0, but this volleyball game goes up to seven. Yeah, we're gonna be here a while, especially if I mess up like that. But even though it is a very simple mini game, it's a fun one. It just would have made more sense if they made this like to three instead of to seven. I don't know why it's this long, but that's fine. It's the brothers working against each other versus a space princess and a dinosaur. So I think we'll win this, but Luigi, I need you to pay attention and then I can get the spike down two to one now. You can sometimes actually get the ace on the serve. It's very unlikely, but I have gotten it once before, even on the master mode CPUs. But usually this is going to be a back and forth game. Like they can do things like that, but because we got that, they're not going to be able to hit our return. So we're actually doing pretty well. We need Luigi to do better serves than that. You can go for something at least a little harder to get Luigi, but I can go all the way in the back of the court four to one. Now this is going really well. Then Luigi actually goes for a pretty good serve, gets Yoshi all the way over there and Yoshi hits the greatest ball I've ever seen him hit. And these guys were kind of getting them in one space. We don't want them to be separated. We want them to be together because that way we can go for the empty space. Ah, uh, that probably wasn't my best one. And yeah, I could have played that better. Then Rosa goes for the good serve. I can go hit it right there. They go for the right away return and they're being pretty smart right now. It seems like they're actually playing serious in Luigi. Luigi. I almost reset right there just out of habit because I was so disappointed in Luigi, but no, we're still winning the game. So I don't need to. All right, Luigi, you really need to make up for that terrible play. I guess he did try to block it, but honestly, blocks in this game are not very good. Like they can sometimes work, but usually they're not going to do anything. We just prefer the spikes and we get five three right there. Get me going with a serve. I'm going to aim for right there. It doesn't really work, but you know, one day we'll get that ace and Luigi actually has a really good hit there. He's going to pass it to me. I can pass it back. Go for the bottom, not the top, Luigi. Don't go to right where they are. You know, I'm kind of disappointed in him right now. Probably shouldn't have helped him out in the Mario movie, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Please, Yoshi, do not make that. Only one more point. And all we need is for them not to play well and for Luigi to do something crazy. And that almost went out. Okay, that could have been bad, but thankfully Yoshi is not the smartest dinosaur in the world. But they are playing really well and Luigi saves it. I'm also able to get it. That's perfect. This is actually a pretty long volley. We're playing this very well, both of us. But Luigi, I need you to move and don't do that. Luigi, what was that? Man was just tired. He's like, this is taking way too long. I have my shoes on in the sand for some reason. He probably just isn't enjoying his time anymore. But don't worry, Luigi. We can end it right here if you're just not dumb. And it gets blocked. She goes for that. And then we can get one of these. Go right for that corner. Yoshi gets the dive. But then we get one as well. And I can go for this corner. That should be it. Finally, 7-4, and that's going to be a win. So yeah, like I said, pretty long mini game, but a pretty fun one. Then it's time for the race car game. Now for this one, basically what you want to do is not go too fast, because if you go too fast, you're going to spin out on these corners. So instead, we just want to make sure we're going a kind of steady speed, or more so we go fast on these long straight areas. But when we are turning, I kind of let go of the gas just a little bit to make sure we don't die. But we're doing really well. We're way ahead of everybody right now, and we only have one more lap to go. They are kind of catching up but we should be fine as long as I'm not bad and here we go just make the final turn and that's also going to be a new record yeah feels good I like that oh but now we have golf okay so I am not the greatest at this golfing mini game. luckily it's like the snowboarding one where we can just skip past the other people but you can see that on master mode they're pretty good sometimes they're even going to get hold in once and meanwhile this mini game does not really love me too much I think I'm going to go for around that power around right there and that is not to the right enough. That would have been a good swing if I hit it more to the right. But thankfully, quick reset. So not the biggest deal in the world. It's funny because when you play on easy mode, they're so far away. And sometimes they even get it off the map. But right now, they are not going to make those mistakes. Let's see if I can do this right. I think that's the right angle around that amount of power. And please... Oh... You know, third time's the charm. That's always what I say. And we're going to start with Luigi this time so we can see how good we have to do right at the beginning. Luigi doesn't have the best hit. Rosalina has a slightly better hit. Yoshi got a hole in one. So now we have to get a hole in one as well. And I think I can do this. I've gotten some hole in ones before. I think we go for around that power. That should be the right angle. And it goes right there. And okay. 
I am so surprised that worked, but that is going to be a win. As you can see, both Mario and Yoshi get the win and we can move on. So I like it. Then we have this one where we have to match all these things or not match it, but rather remember where they are. So I can just memorize those really quick. And then all these toads are going to come by and rearrange them. They're going to put some of them on the floor and some of them will be in their original positions, but it's honestly not the hardest thing. First of all, we'll go with the mushroom right there, then the banana next to it. Then we can get the crown all the way to the right. After that, it's going to be the Mario hat to the lower left, the Wario hat, the egg, and finally the shy guy, and we can close our curtains. Now the thing about this mini game is the CPUs are never going to get a full 10 points. You'll see right at the end they start second guessing themselves and some of them are actually going to get 9 points, but yeah, it just won't be the full 10. And now it can count them up compared to the actual picture, and obviously we got them all right, so that's not too hard. But like I said, the largest point after us is just 9, so yeah, that's going to be our solo win. Then we're doing this mini game. Okay, so for this one, it is one where we just kind of have to hope it works out. When you're facing off against the master mode CPUs, there is not enough time to think. Instead, we just have to really quickly drop everything and hope that it works out. Sometimes it won't, sometimes you will get it, but this is probably gonna take a couple of tries. Like right here, we want these matches to be good. And the reason we can't think for too long is because we wanna get a chain reaction. We don't have time to plan those chain reactions, but we want them to happen. So we kind of just have to hope that it's in the cards. Like right there, that was an okay tiny one. That was also okay, but there is one person Person who's slightly ahead of us. Come on, we just have to do this okay. We have good points, but Yoshi is kind of pulling ahead. And please do not win this, Yoshi. Just let us take home the win, but we are not getting the best blocks, and Yoshi's gonna take that one. That's all right. Not the worst I've ever done on this mini game. And as long as we get it within a couple of tries, we should be fine. I'm just gonna make sure that we don't get any matches too early on. If you get matches early on, you won't get the chains. So if we got a chain right here, that would be good, but we're actually not getting good blocks, and we're gonna lose. <laughs> That was embarrassing. All right, as we always say, fifth time is the try. Yes, I've been on this mini game for a while, but it's definitely gonna be this one, okay? We're gonna get the right amount of chains. We get a thwomp right there, which flattens all of that stuff, and hopefully we'll be able to use it to our advantage. And one person is already knocked down, which is a good thing for us because they can't use any blocks on us, but please, let's just get a good chain to give us a ton of points, and that should be blue. That gives us up to 48. There is Luigi next to us who has 62 though, so we need a couple of chains to make sure he is isn't able to beat us. Please give me, oh, I did not place that blue in the right area, but that's fine. Luigi is all the way up to 90. We have to get very lucky. I probably should reset, but we only need two more points. Please just give me something. There we go. I do not know how he won that. Luigi definitely should have taken home the win, but he choked. I'm not gonna complain though. We're done with that mini game. Then we get to this one. This one is very stressful for me because you have to jump to the right side. Otherwise you're gonna fall down and waste a ton of time. So if we do one of those fall downs, we're probably gonna have to reset just because the master mode CPUs are so hard. So now we're getting to a little bit of the harder area where we just have to make sure we're going in the right place. We have space. It seems like I'm about at the right place along with Luigi. So we're doing all right. I just got to make sure I don't jump in the wrong spot and we should be good. There we go. I'm pretty sure we're tied with Luigi. Now we get to watch it go all the way up to space. We probably shouldn't be able to breathe, but we are going to tie with Luigi. So that's pretty good. And then we have this one. Okay. This one is always not too fun. So this is another 1v1, but basically we have to take the right path and we have to be faster than Yoshi. And the thing about the CPU is they actually know where the right path is. I kind of just have to hope I'm going it and I'm pretty sure I just took the wrong one. Yep, Yoshi took the right one and he seems to be a bit ahead of me. I don't think I can win this. Yeah, we're just going to reset. All right, so that's an example of what we don't want to do. But this time we're going to go up. We actually make it through there. A lot of the times you don't. I don't know why you do sometimes and why you don't other times, but that does mean we will be ahead of Yoshi. I just have to not choke. So we'll go up this direction and I think we're good now. I think we are just ahead of Yoshi. I don't think he can catch up. We also, just to add insult to injury, do another one of those where we sneak right through and that's going to give us the win. All right, second try. Not too bad. Oh, and now it's time for another mashing one. So for this one, we have to mash both A and B at the same time. And yeah, not too much to say about it. We got to make sure that I'm just very focused and it's for a full 10 seconds, which isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. But yay, now we get to watch the shy guys go. Yeah, this part is going to take a while, but at least it's a break for my fingers. So I appreciate that. And also for this mini game, I had to go as hard as possible because sometimes these CPUs can get up into the 50s. My record is 54, as you can see on the bottom. And it looks like, oh, they're actually going to drop out really early. 
So I guess that sucks for them, but we actually beat our record. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. Again, not the greatest master in the world, but I do, all right. Then, okay, we have this one. Now I actually have some pretty good strategies for this one now because I've played this so many times. And when you're playing this on master mode, the different CPUs can actually mess with you and cause you to lose. But for right now, it's going really slowly. So we don't have to worry about that. We can just go from one shape to the other. You're pretty much never gonna lose until you get to only one shape. Now we're on to two instead of three and it's going a bit fast but still not that hard. And you can see for all the shapes, all four people can fit in one shape, but we don't really want to because it gets a little cramped, but here we go. Okay, so here's my strategy. Basically, when it's on one of these corners, I wanna be all the way to the side. So like for this one, I wanna be to the left so I can sprint over there faster than Luigi can and make it to the opening while he's gonna die and we get the win. Then we have this one and this is also a pretty easy mini game. You have to choose between going on the left path or the right path and one is going to be shorter, one is going to be longer. So we chose the shorter one by taking the right path and we'll see if our second one is also shorter, which it ends up being. So this is actually gonna be really fast, but even the master mode CPUs are going to fall down i'm pretty sure they make it like that so in case you get bad rng both times you won't just get an automatic loss so yeah another one for us and now it's time for another 2v2 where we're gonna jump up i have to grab some coins and there are gonna be a total of 20 so i can get six right there that's a pretty good haul yoshi goes for a jump and yoshi okay ah, i guess it wasn't that bad i mean it looked really bad at first but he actually did a pretty good job i can take a couple more of these missed just one coin but yoshi should be able to pick it up he can go over there move over to the left and that's gonna be our win, 20 to 19. Also, we have the strongest legs in the world for them not breaking like that. But now, okay, so this one can go very well or very badly. We just have to hope that these other guys don't get in our way. All we have to do is follow the cloud, which isn't too hard to keep track of, and dodge the Monty Moles, which I guess are a little bit harder since I just got it there. But if we hit them, then we're gonna stumble down and we are not doing the best job. So yeah, I'm gonna restart this one. Okay, second try. I will make sure that I stay with this cloud a lot better. This is also a really Really satisfying minigame when you do it right. Just staying under the cloud, feeling the controller vibrate for you. It's just nice. But we'll keep following the cloud and it looks like we have way more rain than everybody else. I'm not even worried at this point, but we might as well make sure by just keep staying under it and that should be it. And yeah, our piranha plant should be the biggest. We can now compare all of our guys. We'll toss them down. And yeah, easy. Rosalina was the second person, but she can't even compete. Then we have this one where it's another two player mini game and I have to throw these chairs over to Rosalina. Now, the nice thing is, like I've always said with these two player mini games, they're going to be perfect. So, even if I slightly mess up these throws and make them kind of annoying, the CPU is going to be able to pick them up, even if they're at like weird timing or something. So, I just have to make sure I don't completely fail, and Rosalina should be able to pick them up. Of course, the other two are going to fail slightly, just so we're able to beat them. And yeah, that's going to be our win. Now we get to hang out with the tree from Kirby. At least I think that's who that is. Oh, and it's time for TikTok Hop. Now, I'm actually going to reset that right there because I like being on the end. I just find it easier to jump over. I don't know if it actually changes the timing, but it feels like it does. And it's just going to be me versus Yoshi. And for the master CPUs, they are pretty good at this game. So we're probably going to go off into the 30 or 40 jumps. So we're going to be here for a while, but I just have to make sure that I have total focus and I just jump over this thing. It's going to keep switching directions, trying to trick us, jump into the thing. But yeah, we're pretty good at this. And it's also weird how the physics of this work, because technically if we're just jumping up, we shouldn't also be moving forward, but I guess this is a Mario game. When did physics apply to it? So you know what? It works out, but things are starting to speed up a bit. Yoshi is still not really messing up, which to be expected, we are on master difficulty, but the things are really starting to change. I do not like this one though, because we're both moving in the same direction. So you have to be a little more precise with your hops and okay. That was also really scary. Yoshi, I promise nobody will make fun of you in the comments if you bow out here. You know, just die. By the way, if he messes up, make fun of him in the comments. So we're getting to the point where he probably should lose. Please, Yoshi, I wanna stop playing this one. But Yoshi really wants to be resilient this time. Oh, but there he goes. I think he made it to around 37. So not too bad, but wasn't gonna beat me. Now for our 69th mini game, we have the very worst mini game in this entire game. Yep, I already lost, so we're gonna retry. 
subscribe. Now, the reason this one is so bad is because when you're playing against master mode CPUs, they have absolutely insane reaction time that is impossible to compare to. So basically what you'll see is I have to hope that we get a good cycle. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die and we have to reset. Now, what I try to do is get to about this square and then I'm going to stop. And then hopefully that's when he wakes up. Then we can start moving forward. We press the button and then we wanna make it about halfway back. But yeah, there it didn't work. And yeah, we just need Chain Chomp to follow this cycle because I do not have the reaction speeds that the CPUs have and there's not much I can do about it. Oh, I should probably also mention the reason why this is so hard is it doesn't matter when you stop. You have to have like half a second to go in the barrel. So I can't just stop when he wakes up. I have to stop before it. Otherwise, we're just gonna die. But this might actually be the run. Okay, we just need Chain Chomp to help us out here. Please, Mario, you could have made it. He stopped moving when Chain Chomp started moving, but he was almost out of there, man. But yeah, basically, there's a second before you actually go inside the barrel. You can see us slowly slowing down. And yeah, that's why this mini game is so hard. But this looks like another promising one. We'll make it there eventually. Okay, please, Chain Chomp, just give this to me. We're gonna stop right there. Okay, this is our another chance. I am not going to stop. We're just going fully back and we make it to the door. Finally, after like five minutes, we got our first place. Yeah, not too much you can do about that mini game. You just have to hope you get good RNG. But right, we're on to number 70, and this is also one of my favorite mini games because it's just platforming. We have to jump off of these Koopa Troopas, and yeah, we're just going up, jumping off of their shells over and over again. And it's pretty easy too, as long as you don't hit them from beneath, then you'll get knocked down, but we can just do some pretty good platforming, and we're gonna be way faster than literally everybody else because yeah, yeah, it's not too hard. And we're actually doing really well. I might beat my record this time. I'm definitely going to go for it. We can get a couple more jumps and that should be a record beat by three yards. Let's go. Okay, I don't know if I can even improve it past that. That was really good. Oh, but yeah, now it's time for another one where we're gonna spend way too much time on it. So we wanna copy the face that Bowser makes right here. But the thing is with master mode difficulty, it is so precise. You gotta be so good at this mini game and it's very hard to do, especially with only having 30 seconds to copy it. So I'm gonna go for the eyebrows right here and then that's about right. We'll move down the nose and then we can move this jaw over. I kind of match different things. Like I'm trying to make the two left teeth pretty close to each other like they are in the picture. But with the cheeks, there's not too much to tell you what to do. Anyways, that's going to be a 91 and Luigi got a 95. Come on, man. We also have to watch this entire screen. Like we can't just quickly reset, it sucks. But like I said, I kind of just look for those things that I can use to tell if I'm in the right area. Like right here, I'm gonna try to get my teeth to match his teeth. And if they're about there, it looks good, but this is not perfect. We'll move those right there and I'll worry about the teeth later. Then we can see the eyebrows and how they are around the eyes. So I try to copy that. I wanna make sure that puffs out a little bit more and we gotta fix this jaw because it is not in a good position, but I don't know where to go kind of move it slightly and that is probably not the best and yeah 84 points all right we'll just skip to when we win you know i'm kind of glad the game saved these really hard ones for right at the end but i'm also kind of not glad because this is kind of awful but please be one and we got 96 there i don't even know how but i'm gonna take it i think that's the best i've ever done all right that one didn't take too long anyways on to a much easier one where all we have to do is get the big mushroom and then we have to run other people over we can go for rosalina now and and yeah, that was really easy. Yep, that's the speed run. Just going from the hardest things in the world to ones that are almost impossible to lose. And speaking of ones that are almost impossible to lose, this one is also one of those. All we have to do is mash the A button to move our boat forward and we can go for these coins. But the thing about this one is the CPUs are really bad for some reason. I don't even know why. You'd think they'd be a little bit better, but it's not like I'm gonna complain to be fair. The biggest thing we wanna watch out for, of course, is going to be the money bags, which are gonna give us five coins. We just got three in a row right there. So yeah, this is very obviously going to be our win and it wasn't even a competition. I mean, they're celebrating, but they really shouldn't be. Then another money one where for this one, you have to dodge the hammers and grab the money bags. So this one's actually not that bad. All we have to do is jump up into the bags and usually the CPUs aren't gonna be able to get them before us. You can see that we have so many money bags already. They each have like one in five coins. It's kind of embarrassing. I mean, they're not doing the worst in the world. At least they're not at zero. But if I was them, I probably wouldn't 
wouldn't show my face ever again. Anyways, we got 64 coins. The next closest one was seven. Yep, we all won equally, guys. Good job. Hooray. Oh, and now we have another easy one. Okay, after all those hard ones with all the resets, the game decided to go a bit easier on me. Give me a little break before the end where we are surely going to get some more annoying ones. But for this one, as long as we're fast enough, we're not going to get hit by the swamp. So we can just go through, not even worry about it, and go way ahead of our opponents, make it outside of the door very easily. So we're out here and they're trapped in there forever. Oh, and that's also number 75. So we're three fourths of the way through. Oh, and another easy one. Okay. Well, I guess this one isn't the easiest in the world. At least the concept isn't, but I'm really good at these ones for some reason where you have to follow a specific line. I pretty much always get around 99 points. And even once I got a hundred points, I've never done it again though. So maybe I can't call myself that good. Anyways, you just have to follow the line. It's really not that hard, especially because the crayon is so big. So there's a lot of mistakes you can make and be just fine. Meanwhile, the CPUs are doing something. And then the game goes back, tallies up all the score. We got 99, which is kind of sad. I would have liked 100, but we'll take it. Before now, we're doing this bouncy ball one. Now this one can go well or can go badly. I guess that's pretty much all these mini games. But sometimes you can just get knocked off without being able to do much yourself. And some of these platforms are gonna start falling down. So if we get unlucky, we could get knocked off very easily. I'm gonna try to make sure I stay near the middle because that way you probably won't get knocked off, but please, Luigi, do not hit me. And okay, this is a little scary, but there goes Luigi. I do not know how we did that first try. We're on a little bit of a streak right now. I'm pretty impressed with myself. And now it's time for the jump rope mini game with the hot rope. We're basically, it's jump roping, but if you get hit, you die. So it's even more fun. You know, you always have to have that bit of stress on you. It's also probably a bit more stressful just because of the heat going around you. I would assume everybody is sweating profusely right now, but this one isn't too bad normally. Sometimes you can get a CPU that lasts for way too long, but normally they get out around like 50 or 60. So we just have to make it pretty far. It's not gonna get too difficult until around the 30s or 40s. For now, I just did the general jump roping strategy where we wait till the jump rope hits the ground and then we can jump from there. They're gonna speed up, slow down, try to switch all the trajectories to try to trick us up. But as long as we play this the right way, we will be fine. We can do a couple more jumps. I really want some of these people to start getting out. They're lasting way too long and it's a little annoying, but please somebody just get out. Okay, you guys are lasting way too long. Log. Thank you, Rosalina. I appreciate that. I probably should just focus on myself though right now instead of focusing on everybody else, but they're going so long. Usually they would be out by now, but there goes Yoshi. Please, Luigi. No, Luigi was probably so close to dying and then that happened. Okay, we're back up here now. Hopefully it won't last as long as it did last time. I just have to make sure I'm doing that. There goes Yoshi. It's going very fast. It's a little confusing, but there goes Rosalina. It's just me and Luigi. Luigi, oh my gosh, please stop. Slow down, please, okay? And it's gonna come on. I have been stuck on this mini game for so long. Usually this is when I get first try, but there goes Luigi. Okay, at least we have him out of there. Rosalina, please just mess up. And there you go. Only to 55 that time. That just goes to show you how weird it can be with these mini games. Sometimes they make it really far. Sometimes they don't. And now we have this car one. Okay, so this one is also kind of stressful because we cannot make too many mistakes. Now, I'm pretty sure with this amount of electricity on the map, we probably could make a mistake or two, but I'm gonna try not to, obviously. The problem with these electricity fields is they're kind of hard to react to because like right there, it's such a sharp corner and there's like no way to react. We're still ahead of Yoshi though, but what am I doing? I am actually playing trash. We're still ahead of him though. Please just make it over there and I, I, I'm so dumb. I didn't go for the last boost and that allowed Yoshi to pass me. Now I'm also having the problem where everything is so confusing to me, like which way is left and which is right. It's so weird when it's the circle, but I don't think we can win here yet again because there's just so much electricity. Oh, one more time, one more time. Okay, at least this time we got a very easy one with barely any electricity, but we're right at the end of the run. We only have about 20 mini games left. We're two hours in, I just need to focus up we need to finish strong this is doing pretty well and yeah we beat yoshi at least now we have the cake one and this is a relief all right we go from some hard ones to a really easy one all we have to do is pick up these strawberries wait for rosalina to put down the cake and then i put down a strawberry it's very simple you just kind of have to go with the conveyor belts and as long as we get i think 10 or 11 we should be fine i think they get 10 so if we get 10 we tie but i also want to win so we're going for 11 right there and no apparently they get 11 okay that could have been bad 
but that is going to be a four player win so we're gonna take it just like any other one. Oh, and finally we have pushy penguins i've been waiting for this mini game i really like it just like everybody else in the world and yeah we just have to make sure that we don't get pushed off into the freezing cold water by these penguins they do not care they could be in an orderly fashion line or something even the parents they do not care about our lives and they are about to push me off i do not know how i survived that what is going on this is terrifying but luigi please just die here thank you very much and also mario is very jittery right now because he's stuck between two penguins that is terrifying and then we have this button one where what we want to do is press all of these buttons and make the bombs go to the other side but for this one i'm only going to focus on the top three buttons while yoshi can focus on the bottom three now pretty much i'm never going to actually get hit by these bombs but yoshi is not the greatest of this game so he's going to be all of our losses but at the very least we should be able to win this as long as i just focus on my top three i'm gonna be able to get enough points just by myself and you can see we won that very easily so yeah yoshi you didn't really help but i guess thank you and now since that is 82 we're gonna go back to the mini game menu before this we've been just doing random mini games so it goes through all of our hard ones but now it's time for the 1v3 mini games and the reason we don't want these to be random is because we want to choose for each one of these if we want to be the one person or if we want to be a part of the team of three sometimes it's faster to be the single person sometimes it's faster to be the team so we just want to choose and for this one it is very much better to just be the single person because when you are the team of three it's impossible to win unless the one person messes up so as long as i play perfectly they're not going to be able to give the prana plant enough rain to actually get to me so you can win as the three group and it's technically faster but it's just not worth it so finally we make it to the end nice and easy then pd prana goes and knocks his head on the wood and yeah that's going to be our solo win and from here every time we have to go back to the choose mini game screen and you can see why we didn't want to do this before because we saved a ton of time by just not going into the menu but we're tug of warring and again we are going to be the one person because yeah we can just use our rotating skills to get everybody to fall in the piranha plant and yeah they are definitely dead now and mario is very happy about the murder he just committed then for arch arrival we want to be a part of the team of three and that's because it's really hard to win as a single person especially once it gets down to just one person you'll see i actually got hit first which was kind of embarrassing but luigi is going to accidentally hit one of the purple guys which might come back to bite him because now there's just going to be rosalina and since rosalina is on master mode she probably won't get hit she's going to move from side to side and she's honestly much better at this game than i would be so i'm kind of happy she survived instead of me and yeah she can just keep dodging luigi luigi has no chance at all and because rosalina won we all did yep you gotta love relying on your teammates to get a win and for look away again we want to be a part of the team of three because it's just more likely for you to win as part of the team of three than just as the one person basically there are five different directions we can look and as long as we don't look in the same direction as luigi looks we won't get out luigi has five different turns to try to get us he goes straight forward nobody was looking straight forward so we won that one and for this one he's going to look up which is actually going to get me out that kind of sucks but only two left we should win this but he's going to go down and one thing i love about this is how angry mario looks when one of his teammates fails literally mario already failed but he's so angry at his team yoshi okay now i'm angry at you too yeah so that can happen for these mini games it is what it is but we'll try again and they both just got out yeah we're gonna reset really quick anyways pretty simple mini game i'll let you know when we win it so rosalina is all by herself a one out of five chance to win this and come on but okay we have this last one everyone is still alive yoshi does get out but hey we're gonna take home the win finally we're done with that mini game it took way too long and now we're on to title toss where we want to be a part of the team of three again so for this one we just have to jump over the titles but the timing is kind of weird as you can see by me messing up two times okay well um anyways let's not have that happen again so we just have to jump over as long as he doesn't hit us like twice in a row we should be fine so just keep jumping over please rosalina i need you to help i honestly need rosalina to carry me to be completely honest with you but okay so we're good on this one there's only 10 more seconds we both get hit right there rosalina it is all up to you you can do this i promise and it looks like she should be good she's getting close to the boat luigi's getting a little bit frantic and that's gonna be our win again rosalina 
Rosalina carries us to the victory. Gotta love having teammates. Now we can do boulder ball. And for this one, all we have to do is just dodge these boulders. He's gonna go for us, but all we have to do is move slightly over. And yeah, I'll just hope he focuses on my teammates. Go for Rosalina here. Thank you very much. And I can just start moving over to the right. He's not gonna be able to hit us. And yeah, that was actually really fast. See, I don't always get carried. Sometimes I carry. And that leads us to coconut conk. And for this one, we wanna hit the coconuts on Luigi, but this one can go really well or really badly. The annoying thing is sometimes my teammates get in my way and I accidentally ground pound them, which doesn't cause a coconut to come out. So we want to play this smart and kind of try to trap Luigi, but we're not doing the greatest job in the world. And I really do not like my teammates because I have hit them three times already. Well, only five seconds left, please, Luigi. And he just ran into that coconut. <laughs> All right, I don't know why he decided that he wants to get a concussion, but I guess it is what it is. Then for Spotlight Swim, we have 30 seconds to shine all four of our lights on Luigi at the same time. So he's gonna dive right there, but you can see his bubbles in where he's going over towards. So we kind of want to guide ourselves over to that moment. And yeah, it's gonna be an easy win. It's also easy to win as the one person, but you might as well do it as three. Oh, by the way, it looks like the list has actually ended. So for the rest of this, it's not gonna go up from 89, basically because the list can only only carry so many wins. I think it stops at 100. So basically it's getting rid of some of our old mini game records to add in the new ones. Kind of hard to explain, but anyways, we are still getting more mini game wins. They're just not in the same list. Now for this one, I pretty much just randomly press a bunch of buttons and hope it works. For this one, I like being part of the three player team because I think it's slightly more consistent, but yeah, I don't even know where myself is because I'm literally just pressing these buttons randomly and hoping it works out. But okay, that's really good. We're both still alive. Now there is a very good chance that we're going to be able to win this. Obviously, we're automatically going to get the win if we go to two separate areas, but we can't communicate with each other. So we kind of just have to hope that we went to two separate areas. Please, Luigi, just choose the button and Yoshi is out. So again, I clutch a win. Yeah, I really don't always get carried just most of the time. And again, like I said, only 89 wins, but it is still going up. We still are beating more of these mini games. Now on to soccer, what we want to do is aim for the right of the goal. So I just pick an area and I do some pretty good power and just stay in that area. Then I hope my teammates go to different areas so Luigi will try to dive and save those balls. But yeah, for me, I just aim towards the right of the goal and usually it'll go in. Sometimes it won't, but like we only need one more goal. It was super easy. Not even a problem for this mini game. Then we have squared away where we want to crush Luigi with our big cubes, but we're a lot slower than he is. So we want to use teamwork to try to get him and that is close, please. Okay. Yeah, Luigi, you're trash. I'm always a little bit scared about that mini game because sometimes the CPUs can just be too good, but we played that very well, so we're making it on. Now it's tube it or lose it time. For this one, we have the big tube and they have all the small ones and we wanna hit their small tubes with our big tube to take them out one by one. So we can start backing up right there, get Yoshi, that's gonna be one person done. And yeah, it's kind of annoying because the CPUs are very good at their jobs and I'm trying to like predict their movement and stuff like that. They're way better than regular players, but that should be Luigi we just have to get Rosa we're coming up to the end please she's trying to do weird movement are you kidding me she's crazy at this game okay that was like the best movement I've ever seen she just juked me completely you know I have respect for that I'm not even mad at myself because that was so cool and I guess we beat it right after that but how did she do that? And now I get to gloat in front of them because I destroyed their tubes and now they're sad. They were trying to just have a fun sledding day in the snow and I ruined it. Now we're onto this whole one. And for this, all we wanna do is follow the right direction. This is super easy. Like there's pretty much no chance that the one person is going to win this one as long as you play it smart. I mean, Luigi is definitely trying to win this, but he hasn't even gotten a single person out yet. Oh, but maybe Yoshi's gonna get out. Oh, no, there goes Rosalina. That's only gonna be one person. Both Yoshi and I are going to survive. And yeah, another three player mini game done. Now for tackle takedown, we actually want to be the one person. And that's because it's really easy to get through these guys. All we have to do is use our sprints and we're already there. It took literally three seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how they're bad at some of these mini games. It's so weird. But we're on to the final four. So yeah, we're almost done with this speed run. But for this one, I do not like it because it is so confusing for me and I died. But you know what? I believe in the CPUs. They're probably going to be able to win. They both dodged that one onto a good start. There's only 10 seconds left. So Rosalina, there you go. It's okay. Yoshi is still here and Yoshi is a pro. He knows where he's going. 
And yeah, easiest win of our life. And for once in my life, Rosalina didn't carry me. Yoshi did. So now final three, and these are all gonna be coin mini games, along with being 1v3s. The first one is this quicksand one, and you always wanna be the three person, because as long as you have good teammates, it's almost impossible to lose as the three people. We get the first choice of coins. Luigi can try to make us not hit them, but yeah, there's not too much you can do. And especially if we can get those coin bags before he can get them, we're gonna be good. He might get that one right there, but it doesn't even matter because we're so ahead on coins right now. And that is going to finish it out. We end with 28, he ends with 11. Now we have River Raiders. And for this one, we do wanna be the one person. And basically what we're gonna do is just bully these people. We're gonna make it so that they can't get any of these coins unless we wanna go for a few. So they will get a couple of those. I'm not too worried about it because they're not coin bags. But like there's that coin bag right there. They absolutely will not be getting it. And then there's this coin bag for me. So I can take that and we should be fine because we get another coin bag right there. So we can just stay over to the left of the screen. They cannot get that one last coin because I don't want them to. And yeah, we have 13, they have seven. So it's another win for us. So now finally, our very last mini game is gonna be money belts. And yeah, it's just another one. We get the first choice of coins and they have to wait to get them. They did get a bag right there, which isn't the best thing in the world. I kind of have to catch up now. But as long as we get a couple more coin bags, we probably should be fine. I just want to stay by the coins as much as possible. Try not to move around too much because if we do fall down, we waste a lot of time. But we can go for these guys. I think we're slightly ahead, but that coin bag should allow us to win this. And yeah, 26 to 19. So that is going to be the end. And I'm not exactly sure when you end this speed run, but I'm thinking it's on the final screen. So we'll end it now. And there we go. That's our time. Two hours, 22 minutes and 58 seconds, which is going to give us third place on speedrun.com and I'll take it. All right, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.